Okay, here we go with part two on our starting a project. We've placed a few parts, because resistor is an op amp. Uh, let's continue placing parts. I'm going to go back to the library and see what else I need. Well, if I look at this, I have an op amp and parts, but I don't have any way to get parts on and off of a printed circuit board. So let's go to our miscellaneous devices and change that to miscellaneous connectors. This is in your libraries tab up here. So inside my miscellaneous connectors, the very first connector you see says B and C. There's the footprint. That's the little round connector you see on the front of the oscilloscope or the front of the function generator. That's the small connector that hooks the cable up. So let's place that one. I want to put that one over here. There we go, B and C. I just want one, so I'll right click. Go back to libraries. Let's see, for my input, I want to use something different. So let me slide down. Here's a header, schematic symbol, and there's the two holes in the printed circuit board for a header. I might use a two pin header for my input. I can place that here. And I'm going to go back to the libraries. And I'll notice I have two. A header 2 and a header 2H. If I look at the header 2H, you'll see the drawing shows that it has pins coming out the side. That would be a header that would come up like this and then bend over. So now it's horizontal coming out of your board. So the connector would come on this way rather than this way. Let's see. Here's a 3-pin header. Maybe I'll use the 3H so we can use a horizontal connector in our project. I'm going to tell it to place that. I hit the space bar to rotate. I'll place it up here. And I'm going to use that one to get the power in and out of my board. Right? I need a signal in, signal out, and power. All right. So what, how am I going to connect these? Well, if I take my header here and I want to rotate it, I can double click it here and tell it I want you to rotate 180 degrees. There we go. And then I look at it and say, hmm, I really want pin 1 on the top. So let me look at these uh, properties here again and see what can I do to switch that, right? Because I want that thing to have pin 1 at the top. It's uh, often more convenient to do it that way. So if we look at our properties and I slide down here, I'll have models and graphical by default wasn't clicked but i'm going to click on graphical make the arrow point down and you'll see i have a checkbox for mirrored so i'm going to mirror this and look at that you see now this device is mirrored right it's like looking at it in a mirror so let me come back up here and say no i don't want 180 degrees anymore i want zero and look pin one is on top I want to do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to double click him. I'll come over here to the properties. There's graphical. And I'll mirror him. Very good. Now, right here, the name is in the way of that net connection. So I'm going to left click on the name. And just move it out of the way. I'm going to grab my header. I'm going to put it up here. And we can start wiring up some more parts here. Now, I can just take my B and C connector here. And slide it right over until it touches. And if we zoom in there, I can see that those nets are now connected. Let's see, there's other ways to do it. I can highlight this wire and hit delete, get rid of that. I can come up to my two blue squiggly lines here in my toolbar, place wire, and just wire that right across. Very easy. On my input here, I can do the same thing. I can double click this part, and the comment says header right here. I can call that I. U T input. 
Look at that. I changed the name to input. Now, I could wire that across very easily, uh, just as I did on the other one. But it may be uh, smarter for me to use a net name so I can learn how to use nets. So let's use a net name. Now, to place a net name, I can come up here. You'll see my little tool right here. And I turn these tools on by typing view and toolbars. And here I have the wiring. So I turn that on so it would stay up here. If I didn't have it up there, I could tell it place net label. But since I do have it up here, I'll just click on it. Now, this comes preloaded with a net name, not one we're going to use. So I'm going to hit the tab button so I can change the name. And I'm going to call it input. Be aware that Altium is case sensitive. So I used an uppercase I here. If I change that and put another net that said uh, input was uh, not uppercase, I would have a problem. There we go. So if I place this net here, see my red X when I set it there, so it's connected to the net node, and I place it here, same thing, red X appears. I now have a connection from here to here without drawing a wire, just so you're aware of that. That's a, a, an easy way to do that. So let's uh, finish wiring this up. And, of course, what, what do I need to wire this up? Well, I have a header up here for power. Let's double-click that guy and change his comment here to power. All right, so he says power, and I'm going to move this name out of the way. And I'll come up here. Look at this. I have a ground power port. I also have a ground power port up here. So I want to put ground here somewhere. And it turns out I want ground here and here. And I will want one for this op amp here. So the op amp one I need to wire. Let's do that. Wire from here to here. All right. Then I need power ports. And you'll see I have a power port here. VCC power port. I'm going to click on that. Hit the tab. Because I want to name it. And I'm going to call this plus 12 volts. Very good. Hit enter. I can put that one here, and maybe I want to put it here. So now you can see that my little connector up there, my three-pin header, has a direct connection to my op amp. So I'll spacebar to rotate, tab, and I'm going to edit this now. So I have a minus 12 volts. Enter. And I'll put the minus 12 volts here. And I'll rotate. Put minus 12 volts there. I still have some red squiggle lines here, right? It's warning me. What's it warning me about? I have P question mark and P question mark. Let's fix that. So tools, annotation, annotate, schematics, quietly. We'll update everything. Now, I'll make everything fit. There, we have a pretty decent little schematic here now. We have a way to signal in, a way to get power in. We've used a net label to move things across without having to draw a wire. 1K and 10K, so I have a gain of 10 inverting. 50 ohm impedance on the output on the B and C connector. I'm just going to update this guy. He's called AR1, but I really like to call it U1. All right, so let's do a file. Save all. And we have everything saved. We're good to go. Okay, this should end our part two. Thanks for watching.